Hey guys, Thomas from Team Soccer also here. Come at you guys with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Market Watch for you guys today. And we have a lot to go over. We have buyouts, we have Edison, we have some Dark Magician support that's actually good. And a lot more. So hopefully you guys enjoy this Market Watch. Today, I want to help you guys get ahead of Tengu Format. And I will be giving away a Karakuri Shogun to one of you lucky winners. Now all you have to do is smash that like button be subscribed and then let me know in the comment section below what are you guys wanting to play for either tengu format or edison format uh or what card in high rarity for those formats do you want you know i want to give you guys kind of the options of two questions there and that's all you have to do to enter i'll announce the giveaway between one and a half to two and a half weeks through the community tab uh i might have to rerun a giveaway soon if the winner doesn't claim something specifically so always check the community tab to make sure that you won and we're just gonna get right just also us and canada only so i'm sorry to everybody outside of that uh also thank you to all my youtube channel members you guys helped the channel out so much you guys have no idea uh it really does help if you want to help out the channel and you think my content is worth it consider being a youtube channel member uh you know you also get channel member videos and all some other perks so go check it out and consider it buy anything on tcg player use my phone link down in the description below check out tap your cards for five percent off your next purchase and it helps me and there's they got cool Yu-Gi-Oh merch and we're just gonna get right into this so dark magician the jump promo now this is my favorite dark magician artwork if you guys don't know i don't think i'm in a minority of that i really love this dark magician it's i wouldn't run another dark magician even like the ghost or anything really else well these are kind of extinct i mean you got heavy to mod place here starting at 40 dollars, and i think this is like one of the only cards where if i saw a mod i'd still pick it up it's a very small camp of cards i do that and it's sad that that's the case because you got light place here for 45 48 okay going up to 55 then 60 65 90 okay wow so these go up quite quickly would i grab these absolutely uh there's some cards here i'm going to tell you guys are safe from rarity collection and just some reprints in general and i think jump cards might make a resurgence and i'm looking at this dark magician before it goes up and i'm thinking this is a really easy buy that i would definitely recommend your game get your copies while you can but i think a lot of people who are collectors have one copy at the minimum even if it's not in the best condition you have it somewhere i've had my copy for maybe 10 years I don't even remember. I don't know how long, but a very long time. Uh, Dark Magician Ballast of Chaos. Now, this is one that I want to also go over as well. These are about, well, you got a unverified here for 55. Then you got about 65s, about $70 over here. I feel like it's not that a lot of players don't want to pick this up. Is that a lot of players are scared of a reprint. I mean, nothing's really safe, right? We look at Rarity Collection, all that. Dark Magician, never a card that was safe from a reprint, which is good, right? Don't get me wrong here. But when they release a ex something like this, where it's an exclusive artwork, we all know that this is going to be used for you know some type of other reprint hey maybe this is in chapter one just because you really don't know where they're going to put this but i am sure that this is going to get a reprint in this artwork now granted it's not going to have the 25th so this one's going to be a lot higher but for this price and you have to compete with all the other dark magicians as well why would i not flip this and get a jump one I mean, that's m my opinion. That's what I would do. So every time I look at this card, it's not that I don't want it. I just know that it's, if it's going to just sit in a binder, I'll wait for them to give us a cheaper version. And I'll let that cheaper version either sit in a binder or I'll get the original that will drop if they reuse this artwork. Uh, that's kind of how I feel about this one. Now, the Adidas promo, I want to look back up on this. And uh, these are a little lower than I thought, about 90 for light play, which I guess we don't know if that just means unwrapped or if it's actually LP. It could be near mint for all we know. Uh, 110, 115 here, going up to about 120. This isn't bad for an Adidas promo card. I mean, it's a nice Dark Magician. You have something uh, to compete with the other dark game promo Dark Magicians because there's, believe it or not, more than one, but, you know, tablet art. Uh, it's not bad for a hundred bucks. Uh, I know this was a craze. I didn't see these going as terminal as people thought they were, but to see them at below a hundred for some LPs here, so it's a little shocking. Granted, you know, you could consider some of these quicker sales before they go up to 120, but 
the sales data here, I mean, it shows sales. I mean, you got three here. Well, some about a light play for 140. I don't know. I guess they just didn't scroll down. Um, that's, that's always weird. You always get some random sales here that just don't make too much sense, but it's selling, but not a crazy amount. I definitely feel like this is a, a card. However, that people are moving in person more rather than online, because it's not a hard card for even your average Joe to move. Uh, you know, you don't have to be someone who knows the market to move this card really. So that's one other thing I to consider here. Uh, Dark Magician Ghost Rare here. These are about 355, going up to about 400. In fact, let's just go near mint, lightly played. Uh, 343, 450 here. I mean, you do have some cheaper light play copies if you want this card. But I feel like if you're not going to be happy with the quality in this, $300 is a lot to drop for a card of not good quality uh, when you really look at it. Granted, this is at a much better price point than it was. And they do go up quite quickly to this $500, $550 mark. Uh, it does go up to the 700s here, but I don't think it's going to sell at 700s. Has sale history in January up the wazoo here. This is actually quite a bit of decent sale history in January. Um, it's kind of a card where if it comes across your hands and you either get for a good price or the quality is better than you know your average Ghost Rare from Ghost of the Past, or both, that's kind of how you pick it up. I can't, and I'm not a financial advisor, mind you, but for this number, it's, I don't think a lot of people are going to be happy with their purchase. Maybe if Konami had good quality ghost rares, but again, that's just a hypothetical. I really don't think that's ever going to happen. Uh, but hey, you know, I guess you never know. I, I got the same card pulled up. Number 76, Harmonizer Gradil. Uh, no reprint, but it is a Battles of Legends card, so we could see it in Chapter 1. Uh, we should be getting... We might even get get it today, later on. Like, you guys might see this video at, like, this two hours and see, oh, you just uploaded again. Uh, I wonder what it is. Uh, if we could see it today, we could see it tomorrow, or we could see it next week. I don't. I think that if we don't see it by, like, Wednesday, Thursday, we're going to probably see it next week. Uh, but then, but then again, Konami wants to drop ban lists during events, so who knows? $10, 11 to 12 right over here, no reprint. I don't know why, but I see if it's not, for some reason, I thought they'd make this a common in OTS, kind of like they did with Titanic Moth, but yeah, probably Battles of Legends most likely. If it's not there, I mean, I guess they're smoking. Uh, Absolute Zero, another card that should be there, um for you know battles of legends because this is a battles of legends card ultras here at about 12 bucks here i mean i if it's not there i think that's honestly a disgrace you also got the comments here at like ten dollars and the comments and ultras have been more mind you uh definitely a card that is desperate for a reprint but back to the gx manga promos here i know these went terminal at like 60 something dollars i actually did get hollow book from somebody once and i actually received one of these in the hollow bulk and believe it or not it was actually like vlp and i got a very good number for it um and that that's like one of the best finds you could really get in hollow bulk 43 for your light plays and then your near mints are about 68 70 here i've usually seen these between low 50 and about 60 dollars and they do sell at that price i'm seeing them drop right now honestly if you're a big hero fan and you really like absolute zero and you want to play with max rarity absolute zero or it slash you want to collect. This is actually pretty good. Because no matter what they do with Absolute Zero. I mean they can make it a secret rare. This is the GX Manga promo card. This is very rare. It's very collectible. And collectors they are going to want this version. Hey 40s. It's not nice. But seeing how this card has been going terminal. For quite some time now. And we finally you have an opportunity. Maybe because people are scared of chapter 1. Maybe because people are re-putting their copies up. Being like hey this price isn't worth it. Or hey. I like this card, but at $40, $50, $60, I'd rather have that money in my pocket, get a cheaper version, maybe look at it some other time in the future, maybe not. You know, regardless, you have an opportunity here to get less than what it's worth for. I'd consider it if you're a hero fan. Uh, then we have Ancient Sacred Wyvern, another card that desperately needs a reprint. I mean, I feel like Konami, if they really want to help the Edison market, they can just start reprinting some of these cards just in OTS's commons. Or if we get a Ghost of the Past, take like 10 slots. I mean, 10 slots would do wonder. Put like a Magical Android, an Ancient Sacred Wyvern, right? 
fantastic reprints. And while they will appear as hollow book to a lot, it really will help this format. And, you know, these versions will still always be worth money, right? It's not going to hurt the collector market. It's not going to hurt the people who bought these too much, right? It's just going to help people get into the format. And that's what's really, really nice. Now, your OG Ultras have 12 listings left. And that's including all these mob plays. So, I'm going to I'm gonna borrow uh, fresh off the precious term for this. Uh, Janitor it up real quick. 20 bucks for your unlimited. They were 20s. They went to 15s. Now they're back up to 20s. You got a couple copies before the first ends go to 40. Right over here, you only have two first ends at 40s. That's not a lot. You have your secrets, and I have to say, this is probably a top five secret out of five Ds, even though I'm not the biggest fan of this card. I still love this card a lot, actually, probably more than a lot of other people. But the price point's a little ridiculous. You got $20 here for your secrets. So you kind of have your choice here. I will be honest, though. This version, especially because it's the 5D's foiling secret, is just such an amazing looking card. I mean, it's, yeah, 20 bucks here. Uh, about the same price. You could get the OG in a good condition. Or if you just want to look good, you want to look stunning. You, now, again, if this was a secret rare that looked like normal secret rares, I would advise the OG. But 5Ds, it's a really rare collection. It's like Legendary Collection Kaiba, right? Those cards will go terminal and go up in value because it's Legendary Collection Kaiba. Legendary Collection 5Ds, same thing. Now, ultis here are... I haven't checked these ultis in a hot minute. So, Unlimiteds are 24. Honestly, I would actually consider getting the light play for like $4 more for the ulti Unlimited. That's probably your best bet, actually. Uh, if I had to say, it's a good thing I didn't make the call for these ultras or the ultras yet. They do go up to 33 here. Where are the first editions at? 36. Okay, so these these were 50s to 70s, and I guess they've calmed down. A lot of people have these. Uh, they do go up to 58 quite quickly here. I, you know, first I like play 36. I mean, it's not a bad card to grab. Not a bad card to grab at all. Big Welcome Labyrinth. Now, this is a financial literacy moment here. So, ultra rares. Now, Labyrinth is falling off a bit with the newer stuff. But I still think Lab is a fantastic deck. I still think people are going to play Lab. I still think it's going to be a top 32 deck. But, you know how it is. People want to play the new stuff like Voiceless. So Ultras are 1920, right? This is a bit of a problem here. Because I looked over at the ultis, and I expect if I see an ultra at 20, I expect the ult ulti from OTS to be about 35, 40, maybe, maybe even a lot higher. Depends on how relevant the card is, right? This is just a Labyrinth card, though. So, I'll, you know, I expected both versions to be less. Uh, $26. So, you literally have a $7... Well, actually, these are about 20 right? 19 20 you might have a seven to six dollar difference between the og ultra and the ulti and people are still choosing to buy the ultra thinking that they're actually saving five dollars in the long run while in reality they're just burning their money you know uh which is insane to me uh if you have ultras just get rid of them and get your ultis at this point it doesn't matter if the card is possibly getting hit or lab's gonna fall off because if lab falls off or this card gets repaired whatever you're gonna lose all your money if you have ultras but if you have at least ultis i mean what can they go to 18 you know uh and you look at another card like fenrir here fenrir now these secrets were lower at 12 to 13 during release but right now they're about 22 right 22 maybe they're 20 on some days okay and this is a card that is more well-rounded because it's more than just a cash card in fact if you watch my midultry deck profile which uh didn't do as well as i thought it would but i guess we're not the best deck profile channel and maybe i was on a high horse because i got a couple top 32 deck profiles which you guys are going to see more this weekend by the way at rosebot while i'm there come say hi to me please if you haven't liked the video yet what are you doing please smash that like button get your likes that'd be great but then you look at the ulti here and you're like well 45 48 dollars so if you're on a budget or you just want the card hey you get the secrets for 20 or the ultis for 46 right you will save money if you get the secrets fully understandable but for seven dollars that's what i don't really understand you know what i mean like this card at least gets in i know a lot of people are like well ult defender should be higher and i would agree but i feel like a lot of people are just worried oh is it gonna get hit this list oh no it's gonna get hit on the next list oh not that list they've been letting this guy banish face down for quite a while i think what i means to banish this from the game 
Pressured Planet Race Soth. I want to go over this card because like other cards in Photon Hypernova, they haven't got a reprint. And I personally think this will be similar to Power of the Elements, where Konami sprinkles a reprint a little bit. Like, oh, you got Kurakara? We'll give you Ulti Kurakara. Oh, cast your Rise Heart? We'll just ban it. So we don't have to worry about a reprint, right? If it's banned, because Konami does not like to print banned cards. Heck, they don't even like to print banned cards when they come off the list. Oh, <laughs> substitute. But Pressured Planet here, about $31, $32. This card could be was a lot lower. Then it's a lot higher. There are going to be a, quite a few people playing cash at the regional. Uh, people were playing pure cash last format. They're playing it again this format. I, cash is still a great deck. I mean, Shifter's just strong. I think that without Shifter, this deck probably would fall off naturally, possibly. But just having the Fenrir and how much search power it gets, because cash could play through hand traps... But access to hand to like hand trap constantly like shifter this that and you know you could pop prosperity for a shifter, it's good. Uh, cash the I'm just gonna call this e telly. Uh, e telly here at twenty bucks. Okay, cash your bursts were also moving. Uh, someone told me about these. These are forty six listings. You see these skyrocket to two dollars. I heard someone was like, oh, these are two dollars. I'm like, oh, they're two dollars. They're going up here. Uh, not too bad here. You got your unicorns here at about buck here, which is not bad at all. Uh, then you have Grand Gold, the Dusk Dragon. Well, let's go over this card. This card is not only a good branded card, but when it is in the graveyard, you can banish this from the field of the graveyard, aka just the graveyard. You can summon a Dogmatic Monster from the deck or an Aspire Monster from the extra, which is honestly insane. The fact that you're able to... It's not the special the Dogmatic from the deck, right? I, that's good. But special summoning a Despia monster from the extra deck. I mean, I still think this card was a little too much personally, even though I'm not gonna I understand that I don't want to throw the word broken at it, but it's I just read that and I'm like, why did it have to have this kind of thing? But people still play this in a lot of decks. It's really good. Photo Hypernova has a lot two cards that are great extra deck do, uh dumps. Like if I had a nickel. For every, and everyone knows where this joke is going at this point, but it's still funny. If I had a nickel for every card that was a Starlight Mirror in Photo Hypernova that was good to send from the extra to the graveyard, I have two nickels, which is not a lot, but it's surprising that it happened twice. 100 bucks. Goes up to 115, though. I would get your copies. I actually think this is quite good. We might as well look at the Lulu here. These were a lot higher, but right now they're about 81, 85. Okay. It's not too bad either, actually. Solemn Scolding. This card is bought out. People are trying to play this. We also have the new, I think it's called like Iron Thunder. Column uh, Strike is what people are calling it, or Column Judgment uh, for short. This card is setting your spell trap zone when a monster would be, if it has to be the only set, monster would be summoned or a spell trap card or monster effects activated. You pay 3,000 and you negate it, right? Uh, this card's about seven bucks here, about going up to eight. Uh, for your near mints here, you go first editions, 16 listings, not a lot for these, I told people this was a good $2 pickup for a lot of older formats, but people are picking this up for right now, and honestly, I still think that with all our other solemn cards at 3, I mean, you've got Judgment, you've got Strike, you've got the new Column Strike, right? I don't know if Solemn Scolding with the current format is better, but I haven't tested it out yet, some people have hopes for it. It's just a card to keep an eye out because it is getting mod out. Scolding Mega Packs here, about 10 bucks here. Okay, not bad. Thrust Ulties, these are really low. These are $70 here. I have not seen this card this low since it's come out. I do understand that a lot of people who have this are probably like, well, I could just downgrade right now while it's high at like the 80s, 90s, or 100s. Because this card is probably going to be in 25th, which I'm going to be honest, I see this card in 25th. I, If if someone said, oh, do you think it's going to be there? I would probably bet money on it. Uh, Thrust will probably be there. Guilty could probably drop to about $45, $50. But if you need Thrust now and you want a nice little conversion because it's the ulti, if you're going to spend $40 to $45 on the worst look and on a bad looking ultra, I don't like how the ultra looks for Maze as a reprint. Then you might might as well get secrets at ten fifteen dollars more. But if you're gonna get secrets at, being think secrets are what fifty five fifty. Let's see. Yep, you got the ultras at forty. 
Uh, and then you got the secrets at about 50 here. You might as well just spend 20 more dollars and just get the ultis and call it a day. That, it, Thrust is kind of that weird card where, you know, they're going to reprint it, but they're not going to make it hard to, they're going to still make it really hard to get. So it's not really a reprint. You're just losing money by spending a little less, losing more later on type thing. Elemental Hero Air Neos. I want to revisit this because people are like, well, you never know what's not going to get reprinted. I'm like, well, we know one card. <laughs> Oh, uh, what are these? Huh? With these, like, man, 200, maybe, 120, 125. Cool, what are first editions? Better. That's better than what they were. You know, I don't like it, but it's calming. I never meant for 158. It's fine. I think that's fine. I mean, if you get a deep, better number on it, you get a better number on it. Uh, Ulti Hero Neos over here. Want we'll to look through these really quickly as well. Uh, see what these are at 382. Fuck that. Uh, with a stick 1 case. <laughs> this is like my dick. Uh, no one's buying that. I do want to see actually how much our mob plays. I like 270. Hmm, okay. You know, it's really funny is I actually do have access to one of these, but it's mod play unlimited. I'm like, dude, it's not even first. I don't want to get rid of it. It's funny because I had access to it when it was about a hundred something. Uh, oh, no, it wasn't an ulti. It was an ultra. Hold on. Uh, how much are ultras? I actually want to look back for myself. Man, market watch guy came look at his own cards on his own time. And yeah, they're about, uh, still a hundred here. Still dog water, but you know. I could get a, a garbage copy if I wanted to. Uh, actually, you know what's really funny? Would you guys respect an Air Neos mod play giveaway for 5k? Because if I don't want it, but I know it's a cool giveaway, uh, hey, if you guys want it, you guys want it. Uh, might be even a little closer to heavy, who knows? But, I mean, it's for free, right? It's still worth something. Uh, would you guys like that for 5k for a giveaway? Because for 5k, I will be giving away at least something that's 50 bucks. Um, at the minimum. Uh, let's see what other cards we have here. Valmonica. So Valmonica has been doing some stuff in the OCG. $38 for your CR. $29. Uh, $25. And these have 12 listings, by the way. Going up to 30 So if you have interest in Valmonica, especially you want to look at the higher rarity, either you want to play it, you want to keep it to collect because it looks cool. You, uh, you know, you want to buy it and possibly sell it later on. $25. Not bad. You got your um your keyboards here, and this is the best looking card in my opinion. I really love this artwork. It kind of reminds me of a mix of like Bayonetta and Persona. That's how I would describe how this card looks. Very, very gorgeous. Uh, about yeah, eighteen twenty dollars. Okay. Uh eights for your regular ultras and then fives. This deck is very budget. I don't want to hear anyone say this deck's not budget. You literally got three here, so that's what, twenty-four? Then you got, let's call it, let's call it fives, right? I'll round up. Uh, that's 39. And then you have bulk, right? So your, your core is per less than 50 bucks. And you, yeah, and pe some people will hate, well, not some people. I'm going to say people who don't really understand the market or buying car, buying stuff when it's not seeing use or play, not just in card games, but in life in general versus when it is. Um, we'll don't understand this, but the fact that this is less than $50 with the new support and it's doing a couple things in the OCG is un, is amazing. And it was cheaper before, which is kind of insane. Like you literally could have got this deck for like 25 or 20 bucks. Uh, little night here, by the way, at the end of this video, you will also be seeing some four packs of age of overlord. I forgot last week, but eh, whatever. Um, you know, four packs at the end of this video. Let's see if we can pull one of these. Secrets are, let's go verified here. About 140, 143. Okay, that's fine. Um, I ended up getting a, a copy of this for about 95 recently. So, quite happy about that. But SP, I, I don't even know how many SP little knights have passed through my hands. Um, I just happen to not have a deck that can play it. Uh, right now, but until I get my voiceless core, and then I guess I'll need to keep one right now, but I'll probably just keep rotating this card. 
Uh, cause every time I see someone with a spare, I'm like, well, it's good to have a second. And then if I get my second, I'll get ri rid of either mine or the second and be like, well, I mean, I got something out of it. And then it just, it just keeps on repeating. Imsetis, glory of the horse here. Uh, about 50 bucks here, $65. Okay. That's not too bad here. I also want to take a quick thing and say thank you to those who got all the way to the end of the video. I appreciate it. Uh, very quickly, if you guys want to check out what not to buy cards, it's like a better eBay. Like you like to buy cards at eBay, TCG Player, um, Gamer's Choice, etc. Go check out what not using my link in the description below. If you sign up using my affiliate link, you get $15 off your first purchase. And it's always good to have multiple places to buy from in case anything happens. So you might as well get some bang for your buck and support the channel while you're there, right? But yeah, M studies are kind of low at this at this mark. They are 65, 66 here, but the card is 60 some days. Sometimes it's 65, 70, 75, 80, 82. I have not really seen it break 82, but it could. I definitely think that the horse engine, everyone knows it's good. I'm not gonna say it's slept on, but it did have the numbers that you think it would. I mean, I know people, I was talking to someone recently and they said, hey, I remember when these came out and they were about 30 bucks and I was able to get my set for 60. I was like, good shit. And look look, look what it is now. More than one copy is more than what he paid for it. Uh, Visa Samsara, I want to go over this. I still think this is a good card to get. I said, I think five or six dollars. This was a good, was a good grab. These are fours. And I'm going to tell you guys how it is. I think they're going to wait for the next Mega Tin to reprint this, but in 25th, we are getting the Menadium Field Spell reprinted. And once we get it reprinted, I think that this card is going to go up because people are going to be like, well, I want this card to play. Um, you know, for that, I should, you know, I want to grab my Samsara's. And the Samsara, probably going to hit maybe closer to a $10 card. So if you don't have your Visa Samsara's, I, I would definitely grab a few. I mean, they're as cheap as possible here. You know, two, you know, four bucks here. I mean, it's good. I don't see them going any lower. If they do, that's crazy. Now, the quarter century, on the other hand, these were 60s. They went down to about 40. And I said, hey, 40 is actually really good for these. Your near mint verifies have 14 listings. That's actually quite low. They're 45 going up to 50. I think it's any time that this card could go up here. We're going to go through uh, Ramhart here, about five bucks for six bucks for your. Reinhardt, could it get reprinted? Yes, but they need to save something for the Mega Ten. Uh, Peaceful Planets here are what? 12s? 10 to $12 here. Okay. Then your Astrolouds are about 10, 12 bucks for your Astrolouds. And do you still have the Dollar Super here? Oh, yeah, you still have the Dollar Supers here. Something to kind of keep an eye on because they might just forget these Supers. I'm not saying to go and, buy, and you know, grab all the Supers you can, but. Uh, Maybe if you consider it bulk, just put it to the side and you're good bulk. That's what I'll I'll say about the Minadium Supers, you know, just in case kind of thing. Then the last card I have here before we get to the opening, by the way, remember, join my Discord in the description below as well. Infernal Flame Banshee here. Uh, these are about 58 for your quarter centuries. I finally was able to pick one up actually uh, for myself, which is nice because I love how this card looks. The Ultras have 75 listings, and it's really sporadic here. I think a lot of people just had their copy, and this is a one-of. But right now, they're about 2 bucks. Uh, could they go a lot higher to, say, 4 or 5 I don't think this card's necessarily going to hit the moon. You never really know, but I could see it, you know, pay for a pack, you know, 4 to $5. I could definitely see that in this card's future. But the fact that we are... Today's Monday, so we got a couple days till... Uh, Phantom, uh, Nightmare, first day, you know, Friday, all that. Uh, you know, we could see people be like, oh, we should grab this card, blah, blah. I'd say maybe if it doesn't go up within the next two weeks, might be stuck at the $2 mark, but you never know. But I will say, however, when Konami eventually makes this a secret rare, it's going to look really, really nice here. So before I get into these, this opening, so don't log off just yet, unless you don't really care for openings. Remember, join the giveaway rules in the pinned comment below uh, for the Karakuri here. Uh, Normally, I would have the packs here, but I actually want to show off the Phantom Nightmare mat. This is probably the, the top five best sneak peek mats, at least for the last decade. Looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm so glad I actually won this map because normally I don't have any hopes for winning these, but I was, man. So we got our four packs of Age of Overlord here that we're going to open up. Uh, last 
video, we got one ultra, which wasn't as good as the last one, but it went better than the first one. Uh, so let's see if we can at least keep up getting something uh, every four packs here. I think four packs is like the limit of, hey, you're going to probably pull something. You're not guaranteed, but you're probably going to pull something. All right, so we got nothing, I think. It oh, no, we have a second secret. Uh, and it is not the horse card that we wanted. That's really unfortunate because if I was able to get an M setting, I could say that all the packs were worth it because we got the Flamberg. We've got, um, I think we pulled the snake, good, the good snake eye ultra, I think. But uh, yeah, the fact I think I got like 25 packs and that's probably the last secret because I don't expect to pull more than three. Uh, makes me a little sad here. So we have a fusion here, so I assume that it's the arc rate. I don't remember any other fusion. Oh, no, it's the Gandara super. Okay. I mean, at least that's a good super here. But, man, it is really sad that that was our secret here. I guess we're going to have to hope for a quarter century. Maybe a Zeus here would be nice. Maybe three secrets. You know, you never know what happens, right? Uh, but probably not on this one. So we have a trap here, so probably just a super. I actually don't even remember seeing the super ever, but... I've opened up a, yeah, I think I opened up a case of Age of Overlord. Um, some other stuff. Last pack here. Remember, smash that like button, answer the giveaway, blah, blah, blah. I probably bored you guys to death saying that multiple times. Last pack here. All right. You know what, let's try to do the pack trick. Let's have a little fun here. One, two, three, four. All right. It's a spell, so it could be something. Okay, so it is another Ultra, actually, uh, which is the Snake Eye Ultra. So we got a Ultra and a Secret. Uh, it's better than our last opening, I think, unless that, we pulled the Snake Eye one, because then it is not. But, I mean, you ratio-wise, it's fantastic. I just wish that uh, it made the four packs back, or at least close to at the very least. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.